Number five, Michigan, and number 10, Penn State, square off in Ann Arbor on Saturday. The Wolverines are 6-0, and and the Nittany Lions are 5-0. and Michigan is 15-10 and all-time against Penn State, and Jim Harbaugh is 4-3 and against James Franklin, including last year's 21-17 win in State College, which I believe contained the most important play of the Jim Harbaugh era when Eric All rumbled 47 yards for the go-ahead touchdown. That play and that game kept Michigan alive in the Big Ten East race, and we all know what happened after that. So far this season, Penn State is 5-0. Week one, they won at Purdue 35-31. They beat Ohio 46-10. They crushed Auburn 41-12 at Jordan-Hare. They beat Central Michigan 33-14. And then their last game, they won 17-7 against Northwestern in pretty nasty conditions. Penn State ranks 37th in points per game, scoring 34.4 per contest. Michigan is 7th at 43 points per game. Total offense, Penn State 443 yards per game, Michigan 458.7. Both rushing offenses are solid, with Penn State getting 193 yards a game and Michigan 212. Passing offense, Penn State 251 yards per game, Michigan 246 yards per game. Penn State's defense ranks 13th in the country in points per game allowed at 14.8. Michigan is 5th with 11.3 points per game allowed. Penn State is giving up 342 yards per game and Michigan is 5th in the country there as well at 247 yards per game. Both teams have great rushing defenses. Penn State's giving up 82.2 on the ground, and Michigan is giving up 81.7 yards per game on the ground. Here's the big difference though, passing defense. Penn State ranks 102 at 262 yards per game, and Michigan is 11th with 165 yards per game given up. Penn State's quarterback is Sean Clifford, who is back as a super duper duper senior who has been there for like 17 years or something. Actually, he's been there for six years, and this is his fourth year as the starter. So far, he's thrown nine touchdowns to only two interceptions with a 62% completion percentage, and he's also rushed for four touchdowns. Very dangerous with his legs. Aside from Sean Clifford running the ball, Penn State has two freshman running backs leading the charge in Nick Singleton and Catron Allen. They've combined for 788 yards and eight touchdowns so far this season. Their top three receivers are Parker Washington, Brenton Strange, a tight end, and Mitchell Tinsley, a transfer from Western Kentucky. Washington has 20 catches for 285 yards. Strange has 15 for 231 and four touchdowns. Tinsley 19 for 225 and three touchdowns. Here are a couple of notes from the Michigan Insider. It's worth noting they started a redshirt freshman at left guard against the Wildcats, but Penn State has allowed just seven sacks in five games, a massive improvement from a season ago. Behind Clifford is Drew Aller, who has appeared in four games, and is 12 for 19 for 163 yards and two touchdowns so far this season. There were calls among fans to play Aller when Clifford struggled mightily, 10 for 20 for 140 yards against Northwestern, but this remains Clifford's team. Penn State's defensive coordinator is Manny Diaz, and as we've seen by the numbers, his defense is pretty solid. Penn State has two defensive backs with a couple of interceptions each, and Joey Porter Jr. could be a first round draft pick. Penn State did have five giveaways against Northwestern, including four fumbles, but like I said earlier, it was rainy conditions, so it's probably not gonna happen in the big house. Some notes from mgoblue.com, Michigan is 6-0 in back-to-back seasons for the first time since 1976 and 1977. JJ McCarthy leads the NCAA in completion percentage and is fifth in pass efficiency. Blake Corum is seventh nationally in rushing and lists second in rushing touchdowns, total touchdowns, and points scored. Mike Morris ranks third in the Big Ten and 13th nationally in sacks. Michigan and Alabama are the only teams ranked in the top 10 on both sides of the ball. Pro Football Focus ranks Michigan as the number one team in the nation in tackling, third overall in team ranking, fifth in run defense, sixth in total defense, total offense, and rushing, seventh in pass coverage, tied for 11th in special teams, and 15th in receiving. The service also gives Michigan a top 25 rank in run blocking and pass rush. What I want to see from Michigan is more creativity with the play calling, you know, doing more to create some mismatches. Like Joel Klatt said, Michigan doesn't really do much motion pre-snap on pass plays, so maybe they'll start doing that. Honestly, I just want to see much of what we saw in the second half against Indiana, uh, letting JJ be JJ, because if Michigan lets JJ cook, so to speak, they can get to the level of Georgia, Bama, Ohio State. I truly think so. Because what we saw in the second half against Indiana was a solid pass rush, good pass protection, 
and pretty good play calling. Keeping the defense on their heels is what we need more of, like Michigan did on their first drive in the last game. They came out passing. Uh, on the second drive, they did some read option. We need more of that, I think. From what I saw from watching some highlights against Penn State is they can give up some runs to the quarterback. And Michigan has a quarterback that can definitely run the ball. So I say more read options. I know that Michigan wants to run the ball. And I know that Michigan can run the ball. Penn State does have a really solid run defense, though. So I know it's cliche to say, but running up the middle on first and second down, just don't leave yourself in third and long situations. Mix it up a little bit. I'm not an offensive coordinator but it seems like Michigan can do more to keep the third downs a little bit shorter. Sure, you can run the ball on second and two, but why not take a shot down the field? And if JJ can start hitting the deep throws, he hasn't been far off. It's not like he's completely overthrowing everybody or anything anyways. If he can just start hitting those, make the safeties back up a little bit, make the defense respect the deep pass, then everything on Michigan's offense will work better. At the time of this recording, Michigan is favored by six and a half. Until Michigan shows that they're willing to take some shots consistently, I think they could be bogged down by some meh play calling, especially in the first half, which is going to keep this game close. It's a battle of two good run defenses, and Penn State has some good running back talent, especially Singleton. If he gets a little crease, he's gone, so it's possible he could break one. Uh, but I think that Michigan's emerging pass rush is going to be a little too much, and they'll hit Clifford a lot in this game like they did last year. Um, aside from the 2020 season, Michigan has dominated Penn State at home under Jim Harbaugh. So my prediction, I'm going Michigan 27, Penn State 17. If you're going to the game like I am, wear maize. Hell, wear maize at home and go blue.